many people accept um, storytelling as a, as a part of life, uh, but they never re really reflect on it. And I think certainly in uh, today's age of uh, mass media and social media, where we are constantly being fed different stories, I think it's extremely important that we understand how stories are constructed uh, and how we might be able to recognize the stories which are actually more persuasive or should be more persuasive than others. My first book was about the historians of the French Revolution and I've written a number of books along the way. But my most recent book and the one I I'm still very, think is a very important uh, step forward is about uh, the afterlives of Walter Scott and it's about the ways in which once a story has been produced, what happens to it? Traditionally people looked at stories in themselves, how they were made and I've shifted the emphasis to looking at the way stories are used. And I particularly looked at what we call the reception of this uh, particular novelist, a very famous novelist, and looked at the ways in which people uh, reproduced his stories, acted out his stories, uh, referred to his stories in street names, uh, in uh, theatre productions, in film productions. And so I began to trace the ways in which a story survives in society uh, over many generations. I like to think I've made an important contribution to the development of what we call cultural memory studies. Cultural memory studies is this study of the ways in which societies remember through all sorts of media. Uh, this is a very recent field, which is an interdisciplinary field, and I have tried to um, develop the study of the uh, literary and media dimensions of cultural memory. And we, through cultural memory studies, are developing concepts uh, with which to analyse these processes of contestation and negotiation around the collective past. And we're also developing uh, a larger sense of the history of the practice of commemoration and of the production of cultural memory. What does Aarhus mean for me? To begin with, the great honour of being here today uh, and to receive this honorary doctorate. Uh, but it follows on a history of uh, very uh, successful and intense collaboration with various colleagues in Denmark and particularly in Aarhus. Uh, and given my own background in cultural memory studies, I've been delighted to see the development of uh, this focus area on the uses of the past, which will allow me to continue my collaboration with historians and uh, cultural scholars here in Aarhus around issues of representation, narrativity and cultural memory.